Welcome back to another musical moment in the life of the old time rock and roller. Today we will be focusing a few minutes on a story from the golden age of rock and roll. The 60s had been an incredible decade of music for me. And I wanted to end the decade on a high note. And I mean a high note. The Grateful Dead were booked to play the Boston Tea Party, and I got a ticket. As everyone knew, the Dead was a big acid band, meaning most people at their concerts were tripping, and all of the punch at the Tea Party was laced with LSD. Now, I wasn't really a big Grateful Dead fan. To me, they took too long to get to the climax of the song. And they would wander aimlessly until they found a groove that finally hit the note. In fact, the Allman Brothers did a lot of shows with them. And although they liked to close the song and their show with a giant jam session, the, the brothers really didn't like the dead. But that's immaterial because the dead had millions of fans and they were primed that night for an incredible show. So I had a joint of Mishmakan, which at the time was some of the best weed that was available to consumers. I had a couple actually, and I had smoked a few. So when the band came out, Jerry Garcia walked right in front of me and I could tell from his eyes that he was on another planet. I said, Jerry, enjoy a joint of Mishmakan on me. And he said, man, give it to someone who needs it. I'm so far beyond that, man. We got to play some music. So I smoked it during their set. And they got up and they played and they played and they played and they played and New Year's came and it was now 1970 and they kept playing and I thought, man, this is getting boring. I'm ready to go home. So I actually left maybe an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes into their show because they were stoned, man. They were not about to quit. And I was beat. I was wiped out. So I said goodbye to the 60s, tipped my hat to the band, stumbled on out to my car and made it back to my apartment, ending the 60s on a very high note. That, my friends, was my musical moment to close out the decade. And to see the Grateful Dead. Mickey Hart, the drummer, and I would meet hmm, seven years later and jam together on a blues in San Anselmo with Nick Grevenites, the singer for the Electric Flag. That's coming, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this musical moment because that was a party to remember. So keep the love in your heart, a song in your head. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I hope to see you again on the Musical Story Highway on the next music moment with the old-time rock and roller. So long, my friends.